This gemstone, produced near the southern border of China, has a name that implies its color, nanhong. Hong means red in Chinese. When the Beijing Auction House Poly International Auction held its 10th anniversary celebration in 2015 in Beijing, jewelry collectors were surprised by the dazzling beauty and exorbitant prices of items made of nanhong agate. The final item up for bidding at the auction was a nanhong agate bracelet. The agate was from Dishui Cave in Baoshan, Yunnan. Its estimated value was between 6.88 million and 8.88 million yuan, a new high for a nanhong agate. The seller of the bracelet was Sun Limin, known as the number one collector of nanhong agate. He still gets excited whenever he recalls the scene at the Beijing auction. The bracelet's popularity has brought a great deal of attention to its birthplace, Dishui Cave in Baoshan. It is extremely difficult to mine raw Nanhong agate gemstones. First, a large machine must excavate the area around the deposit and then people will extract the raw gemstones by hand. With the approach of the rainy season, safety hazards increase. So the company has ceased most of its large-scale mining. Only a few employees carry out the extraction process. Raw gemstones of Nanhong agate are usually attached to the mother rock and mixed in the black sand pile. Extracting jade relies on a small hoe and sharp eyes. In the process of digging sand and mud, a transient flash of red marks the presence of the raw gemstone. Nanhong agate was known as red jade in ancient times. It is quite scarce and unique to China. The gem excavated in Gansu is referred to as Nanhong agate of Gansu, while the same type found in Sichuan is called Nanhong agate of Sichuan. Chiaojia County is located in Yunnan province, along the Jinshao River. Since this place is near to the Nanhong agate mine of Liangshan, the local craftsmen have access to the precious Nanhong agate. According to jade craftsman Sun Xinwen, the advantages of the Nanhong agate of Sichuan are its high water content, fewer cracks, and different layers of color. These features enable it to be carved into exquisite works. Shu Xiaka was a great traveler in the Ming Dynasty, who wrote in his travel notes, it is white and red, it is small in size, about like one's fist, he was referring to the Nanhong agate of Baoshan, Yunnan. Nanhong itself,包括在战国的时候，当然已经出土的时候都都有它的古代的首饰呢，都已出来了。包括清代的时候已经就是已经很流行的这种东西，佛珠啊、草珠啊这种顶珠之类的。Once a raw gemstone of Nanhong agate has been selected, the next step is its design. Just like a fetus in its mother's womb, the agate is firmly embedded in the mother rock. It is hard to separate them without damaging the agate itself. Moreover, there is another disadvantage of the raw nanhong agate produced in Baoshan, which can be fatal. It generally has many cracks. <laughs> Yo Chang Ming is a jade craftsman from Fujian province. He has rich experience in carving Shoshan stone, bloodstone, and jadeite. But every time he faces Nanhong agate, he is extremely cautious and careful because of its instability. Sometimes in the process of carving, new cracks will appear. 
。我说他说我说你怎么做？他说我一拿回来我就切了，切着开始做了。然后相对于说四川南路来说，他说我怎么觉得四川南路没那么多裂？ Yao Changming said that sometimes, when he is working with a piece of Nanhong agate, he has to change the design as he goes along. It's like a battle between the craftsman and the temperamental agate. 切完以后，可能还要放个两三天，让它的石头本身的裂纹让它出来，然后你该去裂纹本身再去设计它，怎么样去做它。All works of Nanhong agate are the result of a struggle between the agate and the craftsman's wisdom, thought, and effort. Craftsmen go through countless ups and downs during this process. This is why a high-quality, well-designed Nanhong agate object is highly valued by collectors. Because of its unique features, the Nanhong agate bracelet, with no cracks and dazzling color, is worth millions of yuan. <laughs>